Okay, right, tier list time. And today, as you can see, we're doing maps. Yeah. Uh, the last thing we have to do tier list wise, I don't have any more for you guys at the moment, but in the future, uh, depending on what my brain can work out, we may or may not have other tier lists going on. Depends what I uh, consider to do. But for now, Let's have a look at this. Now, this is all jumbled up all over the place. Let me get my notes that I made for this. There we go. So, today's tier list, guys, is going to be based... No, she's still not being social. She's scratching away inside her little hide. <laughs> I just heard her scratching. I thought she'd come out. But no, little tortoise is still being antisocial. Um, the way I'll be ranking these maps, guys, is on difficulty. But it's going to be based on difficulty, not necessarily based on the vehicles that you have, but more on kind of the general vibe of the map. You know, if obviously if you have good trucks, maps are going to be easier or hard or if, well, like maps are going to be easier than if you have bad trucks, shall we say. So there is a little bit of that taken into consideration in the rankings here, but there are some maps on the list that are probably a no brainer, regardless of um, of where they are in the list. Um, so. What should I do? Should I do these chronologically? I think I'm going to do these chronologically, guys. So starting from the, the earliest maps all the way through to the later maps. Um, but as the, at the moment here, they're done alphabetically, which is rather annoying. But uh, we'll, we'll start here and let's just... Can I get my cursor? Ah, yes, there we go. There's my cursor. So, we'll do this chronologically, guys. And uh, we'll start with good old Black River. Uh, the first, every, everyone's first little toe dip into, um, into SnowRunner. It's, it's act, actually, I honestly think that Black River is probably one of the best kind of training grounds for new people, uh, new players. That there is. I mean, I know that's what it's designed to do, but it's designed to do it very, very well. It is D rank in terms of overall difficulty. I would say there's probably a few little sticky patches here and there. Like if you go into the deep woods with a truck that is has not got any upgrades on it, you're gonna beat yourself <laughs> because that's just what it is, you know. But I think that's that's kind of put in the map purposefully to kind of like you know train people don't drive into a swamp with a truck that's got highway tires on it you noob Tsh, you know uh <laughs> it does kind of do that to you a little bit um but i i kind of like black river it's, it's a lovely little nostalgic feeling to go back and play it sometime um it, it, it's definitely not a hard map it's no way is it hard at all certainly if you once you've got kind of some all-terrain all tyres and some slightly bigger engines and all that kind of stuff, it's an absolute cakewalk, you know. And if you go there with later trucks, just just don't even pretend that you're trying to, you know, achieve anything difficult. Um, it's a very easy map. Very easy. A couple of sticking points. The river, the river crossing at the top, is probably the largest kind of um, uh-oh point. On the whole map i'd say because that will get you stuck and i've i've attempted it a few times with various trucks but it's really difficult early on if you're not prepared for it uh, uh right where's the next one uh smithville dam where are you smithville dam there we go smithville dam smithville dam it's actually going to go into the sea crank it's the I want to say it's the biggest one. I think it might be about the same size as uh, Black River, but it feels bigger, uh, and the trails are a lot more winding. Um, you've got the, the the 
insane river crossing at the top of the map between the um, Drummond Island gate and the mining drill, which you, you generally want to use for that final big trailer mission. But that's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. You've also got a massive swamp in the southern area. You've got a lot of river crossings. Um, you've got a lot of steep gradients that you can easily flip a truck on. Certainly towards the towards the east side of the map. You know, if you go south from the from the gate from Black River, that whole area there is really easy to flip on if you are trying to go downhill. Um, but it's I, actually I love Smith River as well. It's fun, you know. It's a fun map. I think Black River kind of gives you the basics, and then you get to Smithville, and it's just fun. You know, I I really do like bombing around on this map. It's it's a good mix of challenging and easy terrain. Nice map. Very good map design. Actually, I would say most of the base game maps are very well well designed, but that doesn't stop them from being incredibly easy. Uh, and speaking of easy, uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Da -da 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 Lake Island, that's the one. There we go. That goes into D. And I might as well put Drummond in there as well. Um... Like Black River, both of these maps kind of have a few little sticking points here or there. There's a lot of swampy terrain that you get bogged down in. But there's nothing particularly difficult. Um, Lake Island is just really long, you know, so it's uh, it's a bit of a drag getting from one end to the other sometimes, but it's not hard. Uh, and likewise with Drummond Island, a few little points. There's a couple of little river crossings here and there that are a little bit tricky. Um, there's one job that sends you almost over a cliff to retrieve some some lost cargo um, that you've got to be really, really careful with just to kind of avoid going over the cliff. But apart from those like little tiny instances of difficulty, the rest of the map is a cakewalk, you know, and it's just a case of driving around, um, which can take time. And that, I think, is kind of the, the issue with these maps early on um, if you're playing them with what you have available to you at the time and at a lower level you can it can take a long time to get from one place to another and that's kind of um, because it's slow going you know it takes a lot of time you don't have big mud tires generally you don't have four-wheel drive or diff lock on all the time for all of them on all of your vehicles so that kind of artificially inflates difficulty, but in essence, very easy maps. Let's move on to Alaska, and we'll start with Northport. Where is Northport? I'm here, I know I saw it. Is that Northport? No, that's Northport. There we go, that's Northport. It's Sea Rank. I actually think Northport is the most difficult of the Alaska maps. Um, there's a lot of deep snow, there's a lot of deep mud, certainly in kind of like the center and the upper northwest corner of the map. Very muddy, very snowy. Um, and the roads are all ice, like literally all of the roads are ice. So you've got to contend with either having the mud tires to deal with the tricky spots or the chains in order to deal with the roads because you can't have both it's like actually I, I, I all my time playing I, I remember when i was playing uh the alaska maps and i kept saying i wish i could get mud tires that had chain options you know it would be a nice option to have maybe make them like super expensive to buy or something like that so you wouldn't want to buy them for all of your trucks but it would be nice to have um it would definitely be nice to have for this map. Uh, the other maps, uh, so we have Mountain River. Mountain River is almost not a map at all. It's so small. It's so tiny. It's basically a thoroughfare. 
Um, once you've got the bridge fixed, there's there's nothing to the map. It's literally just a cargo depot. Um, bit of a waste of space, really, to be honest. They could have probably gotten rid of this map entirely, and it wouldn't have affected Alaska at all. Um, it's a tiny map with no difficult routes. Probably easier than some of these maps, to be absolutely honest. Um, and likewise, Light Valley and Pedro Bay are going to go into the D tier um, difficulty as well. <coughs> kind of the same reasons as Lake Island and, Drum uh, and Drummond Island. Uh, oh, Island, Island Lake and Drummond Island. I always get those muddled in my brain. They're too similar. Um, but yeah, White Valley and Pedro Bay are kind of... Once you've unblocked the roads, you know, once you've got the bridges made and once the roads are unblocked, then there's nothing difficult. They're just kind of... There's little off tracks here and there off the main routes that are a bit muddy, a bit snowy. Um... But the roads are generally good enough that um, Drummond Lake and <laughs> Dan, I think you've even Island Island. <laughs> I think you've even got them wrong there, my friend. <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, see, that's what happens in my brain all the time. Um, but yeah, it's it's the same kind of deal as. The, the third and fourth map on uh, mid, um, on the starting area to Alaska. The same kind of scenarios. The, the main route's very easy to navigate. A few little tricky offshoots. Um, but you generally don't have to go down them very far. You don't have to use them for very long. It's usually like go down, pick something up, come back. So apart from dealing with odd little bits and bats like that, there's no real difficulty. To them. I mean, even the super trailers that you've got to deliver, even those massive super trailers on Alaska, the um, the oil rig drill trailers, they're not difficult. You know, I think the 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 worst one to get is it, it's actually the one on Northport. You know, where you've got to drag it from down the coast along that really narrow road that tilts and then through that mud pit that's actually the worst one to do all the rest are just kind of long distance hauls um, and apart from a couple of little points where the trailer gets a little bit stuck because the road's too steep or the road's too narrow they're not difficult to deliver so yeah those 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 can stay and see the rest are going into the d category let's move on to tamia and Tamiya, what did I have here? Yes, so we start with uh, Drowned Land. Where is it? There it is. That's going into C tier. Um, by this point in the game, you're generally getting some better trucks. You've got the Tager on this truck, uh, on this map, I should say, um, that you can get that makes things a lot simpler uh for for dealing with the terrain um you also get access to buy the russian trucks and that makes these maps a bit easier as well but generally even so even if you're still using american trucks on this map it's not that difficult um i think the main the main difficulty i found with this one is dealing with the rocks there's a lot of rocks that are kind of positioned all over the place that could not only just pepper your suspension to bits, but also have a tendency to uh, send you skipping onto two wheels, which can end badly. But generally, the main routes are quite clear. Um, and like these two maps, there's a couple of little spots where there's, um, there's, there's a bit of mud um, around the service centre in the middle of the map. That's quite a, a tricky spot to navigate sometimes. Um, if you haven't got the right tyres for it. Uh, but other than that, 
it's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually quite a nice challenge jump, I would say, from these earlier maps to go to Tamiya. I think it's it's a nice stepping stone. Um, in fact, all right, no problem, babe. No problem. How's she doing on her stream, by the way? Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Where are the other uh, Tamiya maps? We have. She got killed by a clam. Oh, my. <laughs> That's embarrassing. So we have the quarry. That's going to go in here. We have... Where else are we? Is that the rift? That's Zimnagorsk. That's going into the sea. And I think that's the rift. That's going into the sea. I don't feel that any of the Tamiya maps are difficult enough to warrant a B. You know, they're all a really nice jumping platform from the first two base game maps. And I really, really like that. Sorry, guys. Really like that SnowRunner has done that in terms of its difficulty uh, difficulty curve. But it gives you a little taste of a slightly more difficult map with Smithville and Northport. And then it throws you into an area where all the maps kind of that difficult um the quarry is big that's the quarry's main thing that well and the quarry <laughs> there's a quarry quarries are always a bit tricky to navigate but it's a very long map um and the southern tip of it around the coastline is really bad you know that is probably the worst area i would say on that map um zimnagorsk is again it's a much smaller map you find the tatra in there which is very very nice um and there are there are a few snarly points there's a lot of routes that are just mud the whole way doesn't matter what you do it's just mud and you've just got to slog through it um and that makes it a bit of a a bit of a, a challenge shall we say and the rift is just <sighs> the rift is just the same you know it's just there's not very many major routes most of the major routes are split down the middle by the aforementioned rift through the center of the map um, and that means you've got to go the long way around um, so yeah it's Probably not quite as hard as these ones, but it's harder than these ones, I would say. So that's why it jumps up to the C tier. So, yeah, so as you can see so far, it, it kind of the difficulty curve's ramping up, and that's the base game. And that's basically the only difficulty curve in the game, I would say. <laughs> because after that, after that, we get into the DLC maps. And the DLC maps are just all over the place. Some are easy, some are hard, some are ludicrous. Um, <laughs> and they populate the rest of the table, shall we say. So this is like the only part of the game that actually has a visible difficulty curve that slowly ramps up, I would say. Because after this, you run into the Kola Peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear right lake cove let's start with lake cove it's going to go into a b tier might surprise a couple of you um i know that the Kola peninsula is widely regarded as a very difficult area but i think that lake cove isn't as bad as some other maps um there's a lot of cracky ice you know, a lot of ice to fall into but there's also a lot of really good ice routes you know there's a lot of clean ice that you can actually drive on really easily even with mud tires um so long as you're going in a straight line so long as you don't try to maneuver too much or go too fast the ice on lake cove is actually really really handy and useful in getting places um 
You get the Ford here, which is always a very useful addition to your fleet. Um, and is there any other vehicles on, on, on Lake Cove? I don't think so. It's just the Ford. It's, no, no. You get the Action there as well. Um, maybe slightly less useful, but, you know, it's an interesting little vehicle. Uh, and yeah, I mean... Oh, all-wheel drive for the GMC. There's a there's a plus point, Dan. There's a very good plus point. Um, so yeah, so Lake Cove actually has some useful things for you to pick up, and most of it is relatively, um, relatively doable, uh, in an easy enough fashion. The kind of northern edge of the map is probably the most difficult part. Um, the swamp where the the seven fifty is, the um. The rocky uh, canyon that you have to go through in the northeast section in order to deliver one um, sled container and then leave. Uh, <laughs> that's annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, on the whole, quite a nice map. Um, I think most of the difficulty comes from, certainly for a new player, comes from not having very many watchtowers and having to rely on the prototype units to do scouting. Because unless you have, say, the Yar at that point, you're not going to have very many good vehicles to hook it up to. Um, the Hummer might be able to perform well enough, but I'm not sure I'd want to use the Hummer if I had the Yar to do that job. You know, But that's a truck tier list thing, not a map tier list thing. So, yeah, Lake Cove, not that bad, not that bad. It's brother, though. It's brother, Imandra. Get in the S-tier, you. Um, it's not the worst S-tier offender, but as a map that you will end up spending a lot of time on, it's, it's annoying enough. <laughs> I kind of dreaded going back to this map on hard mode to 100% it because the tasks that I had left there were all over the place. There was loads of travelling back and forth. The roads are a nightmare. There's no easy routes from point A to point B. Um, if you want the garage, you've got to unlock it and the jobs for unlocking it aren't exactly the easiest ones in the world uh, or very self-explanatory. Um, in terms of where they are, uh, you know, I think there's, I think if one of them is to restore some power lines, uh, and the other is to connect power. I think, I think it's to connect the power station, and then you've got to connect the power lines in order to activate the garage, something like that. But it's not very self-explanatory. It doesn't tell you that it unlocks the garage, and it doesn't tell you there is a garage um, until you stumble onto it. So it's really annoying. The routes take you forever to get places. Um, the, 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 the bridge over the water um, on the eastern side of the map, like the, 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 the bridge you see here that they're fixing in the picture that you can't fix in the game and have to then use a little tiny zigzag thing across some planks across water that is deep enough to instantly drown your truck. Absolute nightmare. Really hard map. Even from the start of Imandra, you drive forward about 50 feet and you hit snow that is so deep that you need to use a winch to pull yourself through. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, really, really difficult map. Not the most difficult, but... Uh, Sorry, guys, my nose is on fire right now. I really do apologise. Um, it's getting to a point where I can't even ignore it. Um, but hey, I will press through. Uh, <laughs> I still haven't finished Amandra, but yeah, I know it's 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 a it's a bit of a hellhole, bit of a hellhole. But hey, once you get through Amandra, you're on to Yukon, and Yukon. It's actually quite a fun area, I would say. Uh, we start with flooded foothills. 
which is our first A rank, um, you're confronted with deep mud, very fast flowing river crossings. Um, there's a lot of very steep hills, very narrow tracks. Um, and it's another one of these maps that combines a lot of mud with ice and a lot of snow. Um, and all of that combined just makes it really tricky. Not helped by the fact that the watchtowers don't reveal an awful lot. So a lot of the time you're kind of stumbling around in the dark trying to find the best route to places. <laughs> and there's also those two huge mining trailers that you have to use the terrible cat vehicle to deliver uh, up to the gold mine. And that, that in itself is a really difficult contract because that vehicle is not particularly great. Those trailers are really heavy and the routes are really precarious. Not only do you have to do it once, you have to do it twice. <laughs> just, just, just because. Doing it once, that wouldn't be enough for me. Not at all. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, fun map though, you know? It's actually, for as difficult as it is, it's actually really fun. And that is something in its, in its, um, in its favour. It's difficult, challenging, but enjoyable. Um, kind of like its brother. Where is Big Salmon? There is Big Salmon. Big Salmon is getting a B. A B for Big Salmon. Um, Big Salmon has a major advantage over the flooded foothills, and that is an access route that runs from one side of the map to the river. From the warehouse to your garage, and connects loads of places in between. There are a lot of areas off that route, obviously, that you've got to explore. There's still a lot of bogs, lots of mud, um, train tracks that you've got to kind of navigate over, um, deep water crossings, that kind of thing. Um, well, a deep water crossing um, and a lot of kind of rocky terrain. But because it has that major route through the middle of the map, even though it's icy, even though it's a little bit steep, um, That, that road through the middle does help because it pretty much connects all of the warehouses to the major delivery centres on the map that you're going to need. And it turns some of the contracts literally into a shuttle run where you're just going back and forth. Um, which does make a majority of the map quite easy. But the rest of the map kind of brings it up um, to a B. So... Yeah, I think I think that's fair enough for that. Uh, let's move on to how are we doing time? Yeah, let's pick up the pace a little bit. We've got plenty of maps left to go through. I don't want to run over too much. Um, what was next after Yukon? It was uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That's what we have next. So. Uh, make sure this guy, Grainwoods River. That's getting a C. Uh, is that Grainwoods? No, that's not Grainwoods. That's Black Badger. Black Badger. Black Badger also gets a B. For Black Badger. <laughs> Big Salmon, Black Badger. Getting Bs. I didn't even notice that. Um, it's the more difficult of the two. You know, I would say Wisconsin is probably, after doing the base game areas, Wisconsin is probably the next map that I would recommend people do. Um, it takes a lot of what you did in Tamiya and kind of elevates it. You get introduced to the uh, cargo crafting mechanic in this map. Um, and there are a lot of bridges. You know, I think that's a major challenge early on in this map is navigation because until you've got bridges up and running, you're using little tiny dirt tracks. You're having to go the long way around things. There's a big swamp that you've got to navigate. Um, and cargo is just kind of everywhere. There's just like, there's a little bit of cargo here. There's a little bit of cargo there. There's a little bit there and there and there and there and there. And, there, and, there, and, there, and, there. and you can't just 
go somewhere, pick up what you need, and then take it somewhere. You've got to go to about seven different locations um, whilst carting the cargo that you picked up previously. So, you know. Hey, nice indeed. Uh, is that, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> more nices. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Uh, oh, my lord. Goodness gracious me. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Oof. That's, uh, hang on a second here, guys. Is that everyone just... Goodness me, everyone subscribing. Oh, my lord. Ev ah! <laughs> Actually, give me one second, guys. I've got to, uh, I've got to check this here. Um... Ah, babe, you're giving out community sub gifts. Thank you. That's what that is. Everyone's getting some subs. Fantastic. I love that. Thank you, babe. That's awesome. Um, hope you enjoy them, everyone that got one there. Um, right. Uh, but yeah, that's that's Black Badger. Um, so the other one, Grain Woods, that goes in the D in the C kit category. Um, like Big Salmon, it kind of has the same thing going. There is a major route that connects pretty much you to everything else on the map, and it only takes a couple of bridges to fix. And once you've kind of got that route going, you can go pretty much anywhere without very much difficulty. There, There's, there's a few bits and bats here and there that are a bit tricky. There's a few kind of like del diving into the river to recover some cargo um, and other things like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't really get up here into the same category, but it's it's certainly harder than these ones. Um, I would say this is actually one of my favourite maps in terms of, you know, casually playing. Um, hey, that's another one. Brilliant. Hey. hey, that's the sub goal that's just completed. That's brilliant. Fantastic. Goal reached. Woohoo! I'll have to set a new one now. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, babe, for doing all of that. That's lovely. Very nice of you. Um, but yeah, I won't I won't labour the point on, on Grain Woods anymore. Um it's still a challenge but it's a nice challenge you know um it's it's a good kind of relaxation map i think i would say is that after you've done some of these other ones up here um up here um going back to grain woods you've got some nice little bits of relaxation ah then we reach the end of season 1 <laughs> I don't think I need to say much about these maps, guys. I think you know everything about these maps. Um, anyone that has played the Amor region knows what this region is. Um, I'm just going to slot these in, guys, because I don't think they'll be a surprise to anyone. Uh, Cosmodrome, that goes into A along with Erska River. Um, I would say probably Erska River is the more difficult of the two, but they're both very challenging maps. Uh, Cosmodrome has some really long routes some, through some really harsh terrain, uh, delivering a lot of cargo. Uh, Erska River has some very, very awkward routes that you have to take until you can get bridges built, watchtowers dealt with, and all that kind of stuff. And until you've opened that warehouse... It's virtually impossible to do anything on Amora. The warehouse on Erska River is pretty much integral to completing the zone. You know, it really is. Um, and I'm so glad that you guys told me about it early on in my playthrough. Otherwise, I think I would really have struggled with uh, Amora in general. Hey, gangster, good to see you. 
Um, yeah, uh, so that's that. Uh, Chernikomensk is going to go into the B tier. Um, it's the um, the it's 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 the easy map that isn't technically an easy map. There's still a lot of hard stuff on it. But after you've dealt with some of the other, after you've dealt with the other maps, finally actually making it to Chernikomansk, and once you've got a couple of roadblocks unblocked, it is a dream. It's like being wrapped in cotton, you know. Um, <laughs> finally making it to this map, uh, and usually you probably won't make it to this map until you've gone to this map. Is there ever a map that makes you want to, you know, disembowel yourself? This is the one. The Northern Aegis installation. It is, without a doubt, the worst experience I've ever had on SnowRunner in terms of just playing the game. You know, it's, it's horrid. It's, I'm, I'm not going to actually, I'm actually, I'm not going to say any more about it. It's like, you go to the Northern Aegis in order to complete the contracts and tasks that are there. And then you leave. And you never go back. You know, there are no upgrades there. There are no vehicles. There is nothing useful. Literally the only reason you're going there is because you need a trailer for a task later on. That is it. That is it. Leave post haste. <laughs> and if you are 100%ing like I was... Cry, because that's what it'll make you do. <laughs> no. No. Keep away. Keep away. Let's go somewhere nicer. Like the Don region. The Don region. Where are we here? Uh, the Don region. Factory grounds. Yes. That's factory grounds, isn't it? That is going in the C category. Is that factory grounds? I think it is. Certainly not any of these ones. No, is it that one? No, that's. Oh wait, maybe that is something else. No, that's the main region, isn't it? That's the factory grounds. There it is. That's the right one. Um. Oh, it's got one upgrade. The Northern Aegis, best scout aid engine for Russian small scouts. Okay, so there's your reason for going there. Your one and only reason. Yeah, so the factory grounds, um, not a difficult map at all. Not difficult in the slightest. Um, the main difficulty with the Don region is that it is very methodical in its tasks. You do one task, it unlocks another task, that unlocks another task, that unlocks, unlocks another one. You can't do things at the same time, so you're forced to do every single job pretty much in individually. Um, and that's kind of where the difficulty of the Don region comes from, because you're kind of hamstrung uh, as to what you can do at any given time. You, you're kind of pigeonholed. It's like you have to do this task and this task, and that's all you can do, and then you get some more. And then that's all you can do, and then you can get some more. Um, it's not like it's not how I like to operate. I like to be able to do anything at any one time once I know that it's there. You know, or multiple things at the same time. I, I love multitasking on this game. Um, and so the Don region is kind of frustrating for that, but it's not a difficult map. There's not really any part of it that is... Um... <laughs> I I didn't think it would take this long either, babe, to be absolutely honest, but we are... I'm, I'm, I'm not got many left um, to do, uh, and some of these I don't really have very much to say on, so... Uh, hopefully maybe 10-15 minutes tops I'll be done um, and then we can go back to Korok seed hunting if you want or whatever anyway so yeah factory grounds not that difficult nature reserve is slightly more difficult um, there's a couple of big trailers to deliver there's a couple of muddy spots there's a couple of slightly questionable routes here and there um, on the whole not too bad. It it's kind kind of reminds me of Black Badger Lake, you know, in terms of its its difficulty. It's not bad. 
few little... It's probably on the lower side of the B, you know. I, I didn't want to put it in C. It, it's not quite that easy, but it's it's not as it's not as hard as uh, Lake Cove, for example. So it's certainly on the lower end of the B, I would say. But I think it's still a B for a couple of jobs. Um, reconstructing the railway, delivering that coiled trailer, um, that, that's difficult. You know, that corner, north, east, north, east, south, west, south, west corner, I think it is, in terms of the compass orientation, is really tricky to navigate. Um, you all know what I mean. You all know the corner that I mean. That's, uh, that pretty much gives it its rating straight away. Uh, so that was tier, f that's the fifth area, the sixth area. So we have, uh, the, uh, Lowlands, Lowlands, that's what the map is. It gets a B as well. Um, this is another one of my favorite maps, unlocking the garage, um, dealing with that massive river that pretty much takes up the whole map and kind of you have to cross it regardless of wherever you're going um, and that river is not an easy river it is a very strong current so at some points it can be really tricky um, just getting all of the cargo together at the garage to unlock it is a challenge in itself the rest of the map is kind of icing on the cake but again, it's a kind of fun hard. This is another one of those maps that, like uh, like Grainwoods, that is fun to do. You know, I totally would not mind going back to this map and replaying it pretty much any day of the week. You know, it's a fun map that's got a good amount of challenge behind it, but isn't going to bend you over and, you know, destroy your entire existence. You know, it's it's nice enough um, my words have gone <laughs> it's nice enough let's leave it there that's actually a, it's nice enough there we go <laughs> uh, the other one yellow rock where is yellow rock that's gonna go up into the A tier um, yellow rock is deceptive is what I will say about about that map it is deceptively God, sorry guys. Yellow Rock is deceptive in its nature. The major routes, the, there looks like there's a road that goes from one gateway to the other, right round the map. Not a problem, let's go. You don't want to use that road. It is a nightmare. It is full of ice that just immediately cracks, sinks you in, you can't move, there are very few winch points. Um... And unless you have a really, really powerful truck, unless you have the Zeeks, the Zeke 6 or the Tatarin, you ain't getting through that ice without a struggle. And yeah, because of that, you've got to go off track. You've got to go into the forests, use the little tiny routes that are in some places really tricky as well. There's river crossings to deal with. There are a lot of um, really, really deceptive locations on that map. That make you go oh this is nothing thunk you know there are a lot of hidden pitfalls and um that's that's why it gets an a tier it's again it's a good map it's a good map i did enjoy it but it did feel like i was really pushing pushing sometimes to actually get certain things done the uh the watchtower in the middle of the map that you've got to unlock is very tricky uh, I found that to be a very hard thing uh, to do with the trucks that I had at the time. And it doesn't help that it also pretty much is necessary because it reveals the whole map. There are a couple of other watchtowers on that map, but they reveal very, very small, very, very kind of select areas of the map. You need that major unlockable watchtower in order to see where you're actually going. But in order to get it unlocked, you need to see where you're going. <laughs> so... It, it's tricky it's tricky but fun tricky but fun uh so number s uh, map number seven where are we region seven um 
That is, is that Burning Mill? It is Burning Mill, isn't it? That's going in the B tier. A uh, couple of reasons. One, it's a huge map. Absolutely gigantic. I think it's one of the biggest maps that we currently have in the game. It's like the size of, of the Amor maps. Uh, it is only a one map region, which is thankfully good, but there's no easy way around it. Uh, there's a definite river that is not fordable. You can't cross it anywhere other than on a bridge. And that kind of means that you are pigeonholed into taking very, very specific routes. Um, there's also the racing to do, which is annoying, especially if you're trying to 100%, 100% because you have to have multiplayer in order to do it. Saber, don't do that to us ever again, please. Um, and there's only one cargo location, and it's kind of located at the furthest possible end of the map that it could be to the rest of the map. You know, so cargo carrying takes forever, and it's kind of this long distance hauling that gets its it dif gets it gets it its difficulty rating. Get there eventually. Um, it, <sighs> still a proud moment for you, Bart, huh? Oh yes, indeed, you were the one that helped me complete multiplayer. So thank you for that. Yeah, and you completely destroyed me because I wasn't aware how to shift gears uh, in automatic. Which you would have thought I would have learnt by that point, but hey, here we are. And the answer was no. <laughs> so, let's uh, move on. We have two, uh, two regions left to do. Uh, so, the... Glades, the glades, here we are. So we have, where are we? Let's start with the crossroads. The crossroads is a C tier map. There's nothing too difficult to it. There's not there's no bridges that you need to unlock. There's some really good road networks from top to bottom. Um they're fairly big maps, you know, so does take a little while, but it's not difficult terrain. Um, and even when you do have to go off off piece, like off road, the trails aren't that bad. There's no trail on the crossroad that I would say is dangerous to look out for. There's a few bits of gnarly terrain here and there that you could flip on if you're not careful, but overall, not very tricky at all. Uh, and the same can be said for the Institute. Now, which one of these two is the Institute? I think it's... Uh, they both look the same. I think it's this one, because this one has the new guy on it, and that's from Heartland, so I think that's the Institute. It also gets a C. Again, really good routes from top to bottom. There's, um, there's a couple of little... Uh, Shark attack! Oh my lord! Hello! Hello, people! Hello! Thank you for dropping in! Uh, who have we got there? Dried, uh, deep fried curd. Oh my lord. Uh, cutie chans, winsome whales shark, beef, uh, the ginger Buddha. Hello, everyone! Thank you for all the sharks. I know where you guys have come from. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, yeah, so so the Institute, not particularly difficult at all. Uh, hey, Geek, good to see you. <laughs> Thank you for you and your crowd for joining us. Uh, we're just doing a little tier list at the moment, going through the, uh, the SnowRunner maps and their difficulty. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's what we're up to just now, just to kind of finish off the stream. <laughs> Uh, so that's the Institute. That's a pretty easy one. Now the Heartlands. The Heartlands gets a B. It is a little bit harder to do. Um, the Watchtowers are pretty scarce. There's a, there's a couple of river crossings that um, are... <laughs> you can make some food. No problem, Geek. Thanks very much. Um, there's a couple of river crossings that are uh, 
treacherous, shall we say, treacherous. Um, and there's a few other little bits of the map here and there that are difficult to navigate. The kind of western side of the map is very muddy and there's a lot of water to deal with. Um, we need a good truck to get through that. We definitely need a good truck to get through that because that will, that will sink you. <laughs> Um, it's also, I also think it's the biggest of all of them. Um, I might be wrong on that fact. I might be about the same as the crossroads, but I think it's the biggest map, um, on the glades. Uh, and that does increase the challenge again, because obviously with distance comes fuel, um, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then we have Harvest Core, which is... Where did Harvest Core go on my list? That is also getting a B. Um, there's not an awful lot to do. Um, <laughs> the King's Knight are raiding my stream. Thank you very much. Uh, is NTHN, is that Nathan? It's short for Nathan, maybe. Maybe it is. Thank you very much though for, for, the, for the raid. It's nice to see people jumping in. Um, Nathan works. Cool. Thank you. Hope you'll stick around as well. I mean, we don't have long on today's stream left, but uh, hope you'll join me again sometime. Uh, but where, right, where was I? Where was I? Um, oh dear. Running that window didn't copy the correct ma raid message. Oops. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do about that. Uh, Right. Right. Where was I? Where was I? Brain! Come on now. Engage. Engage. We don't have much to do left now. Uh, yeah, Harvest Core. There's not an awful lot... Um, not an awful lot to do on Zimnogorsk. It's mostly kind of tying up loose ends uh, and bringing a lot of cargo into the map. Uh, a lot of potatoes. <laughs> Uh, and stuff that needs uh, bringing in. Damn those potatoes, man. Farming on these maps is probably the worst thing to do uh, on them. It really increases the difficulty because it's not easy, it's really long-winded, and it's not fun. It's not fun. It's like unlike farming sim, where the farming is actually fun, farming on SnowRunner, not fun. <laughs> not fun at all. Oh dear. <laughs> I exactly boil a marsh and stick them in a stew. Lovely golden chips and nice piece of fried fish. Yes. Yes. Chips and fish. I had chips for lunch actually. It was very nice. Uh so we come to the last two. And both of these both of these guys, Albany River. And the burnt forest are going in the B tier. Once the, the these maps, I also really am enjoying because we still haven't finished these two maps. Remember, um, still working on these two, but they are a nice challenge. I think they've 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 started the year three pass um, with the Ontario region with a really strong set of maps. Um, not too sure on the firefighting aspect. I feel that's kind of shoehorned in a little bit. Would have liked to have seen a little bit more development in terms of what exactly we're doing with that rather than just, you know, carting water from one end of the map to the other. Um, maybe actually a firefighting job, you know. You know, like give us give us a crane that has a water hose on it that we have to manoeuvre around or something. That would have been fun. But just the endless carting back and forth could have been better but the maps themselves are solid you know there's a good mix of uh, fast trails good connection roads that are actually connection roads that run right the way through both maps and the trails that lead off them are a good mix of mud and terrain rocks challenges um just just a good conglomeration of everything that's come before them you know and set out in a way that's not too um not too awkward <laughs> oh, I need to do 
that. Let me see if I can just get to the sides of this one. Yeah, so you can see the top of this. You can see the bottom. Um, <laughs> play for eat. Hello. Welcome with the shark attack. I love this shark attack, by the way. It's great. Uh, <laughs> babe, it's just because I've been playing for so long, I know exactly which which maps each of these are. You know, I've just seen these loading screens so many times, I know exactly what they correspond to. That's basically what it is, just repetition. Uh, <laughs> Tortoise defense. <laughs> oh, Artwin, where are you? We need you. Um, poor little darling. She's still asleep, you see. <laughs> she is she is still just um still in her little hide being very very antisocial today but uh sadly that is it so that's all the maps that is all of them done guys and that is also the end of the tier lists that we're going to be doing for the time being on this channel um so we will be back to our regular SnowRunner schedules next Sunday. Uh, hey, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is a fantastic shirt, by the way. Um, absolutely love, love it. Best Star Trek I have seen in years. I will say that for sure. You know, absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's it for today, guys. Uh, we're going to wrap this up now, but thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for all those new people that joined as well. You know, um, I this this is not generally what we are doing here on the channel. This is just like a little extra thing that I've been doing for the past couple of weeks to kind of um, share my thoughts on the game in question. Um, but next week we'll be back to our regular SnowRunner antics. So I do hope some of you will join us then be nice to see you back you know um and if not thank you very much for dropping by today and uh filling the chat with shark attacks always that's that was just brilliant i love it um but yeah but we will be back next thursday with farming sim um i do believe i figured out the issue we were having last time so that should be all sorted so if you're not back for snow run next week i hope you'll join me for farming sim on thursday now that is it. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Love having your company. And as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. All right? Bye for now, everyone. Mm -hmm.